hello everyone and welcome back again into another video hope you are all doing well so far we have discussed the passing packages for applied thermodynamics and uh, machine science and metrology i will provide the link in the description box if you have not watched it yet okay today we will discuss another core subject that is uh, fluid mechanics subject code is bme403 so let me start with the module 4 uh, which is uh, somehow easier and the second part is much more convenient for you people and you should go through this uh, particular part that is dimensionless numbers state and expand buckingham's pythorum most important one it may be 10 marks question and uh, on this particular pythorum you have to go for the numericals which are very simpler ones okay as far as the first part is concerned these numericals are very easier ones okay briefly explain dimensionless numbers like uh, reynolds number Frode number euler number okay so weber number you have to go for dimensionless numbers definition pi numbers are there and what is similitude and what are its types explain them briefly so these are the questions which you have to cover from the module 4 provided to the condition if you go through the numerical part you can easily uh, you can easily score 20 marks from this module module 4 over there next is uh, module 5 explain the necessity applications and limitations of cfd and sometimes they will ask you philosophy behind cfd okay i have written that one maybe yeah derive an expression for velocity of sound wave in a fluid derive an expression for stagnation pressure and stagnation temperature and define the following that is mach number subsonic flow sonic flow supersonic flow and uh, as i mentioned here uh, write a short note on philosophy behind cfd computational fluid dynamics so this is all about uh, this module fifth okay if you cover this much you can easily score 15 marks next is module three with a suitable assumption derive Bernoulli's equation or they may ask you like this one derive Euler's equation of motion along a streamline and state and deduce Bernoulli's equation for fluid flow mention its assumptions okay next is derive Darcy Wedgeback equation for the loss of heat due to friction in pipe and uh, utilizing Bernoulli's principle derive equations for discharge of fluid through the pipe using the following devices like venturi meter orifice meter and uh, sorry this is the module 2 question so i will not take it over here so and also on this particular venturi meter and orifice meter when once you go through the derivation part automatically you will remember the formulas uh, whatever the formulas are there then only you can apply those formulas in the numerical part if uh, numericals will appear on these topics like venturi meter and orifice meter automatically whatever the equations you have gone through whatever you have derived you will be uh, able to utilize those formulas in the numerical part right so this is all about module third let us discuss now module first and second in module first you have to go through define the following uh, actually these are the properties okay uh, so specific weight specific gravity mass density dynamic viscosity surface tension kinematic viscosity okay so go through these small small definitions over there and also try to write down the equation for each uh, topic over here each property over here state and prove pascal's law derive an equation for total pressure force and position of center of pressure for a plan surface submerged in static fluid making an angle with the free surface of fluid derive an expression for total pressure torque and depth of center of pressure for an inclined plan surface submerged in liquid and also numericals to find the viscosity of oil which are very easier ones okay you can refer old uh, scheme papers of fluid mechanics so that you will get idea of what type of numericals are coming in the vtu examination for the fluid mechanics subject this is all about model first now let's discuss last model second over here derive continuity equation in cartesian coordinates for a liquid flow three-dimensional steady incompressible flow next is define the following buoyancy center of buoyancy metacentric height meta center next explain different types of fluid flow derive an equation for metacentric height of a floating body and derive hagen poisley equation for laminar flow through circular pipe so this is all about model second and uh, if you are convenient with the numerical part then go through it otherwise you can leave it okay whatever the topics i have mentioned you should surely go for these you will easily grab the subject you can you will easily concur the subject and uh, you can also score if you are uh, practicing the numerical part okay so i wish you all the best for your examination make sure you will share this video to all your batchmates all your friends uh, so that they can also practice so that they can also refer these important questions. Thank you